Good day, welcome to Unity with Heaven. My name is Joseph, and today I am here with Kimi, and we are ministering to 10 people. Uh, so these names are a combination of people that put their names on the list, and there's a few names that were left over from Monday evening's live ministry that we had. And so uh, when people put their names in the comments, I put them on the list, and we continually uh, minister to people so if you'd also like to receive ministry just write your name in the comments and we would love to minister the word of the lord to you i'm trusting god that i can every day minister to 10 people so that's the plan uh, so the first person i want to minister to is amanda kutzer amanda the lord shows me a very strong foundation that has been for a long time part of your life and i and i think it, it possibly could have happened when you were younger that you received the word uh, you received the, the touch of God in your life and, and your faith in the Lord was really built strong uh, and steadfast. And I see how the Lord is helping you on that very same foundation to build uh, the, the ministry that God has for your life. And it, it feels to me the old ministry is taken away and the Lord puts a new ministry, but on that same foundation that the Lord originally placed in your life. Then the Lord shows me young people and how you minister to them, how you encourage them and um, help them to grow and um, become mature in their call again. And so the Lord says there's a generational anointing that is placing on your life. God bless you. Uh, amen, Amanda. Please leave us a comment. This next word is for Barnabas. Barnabas, the Lord shows me that out of, uh, out of you is going to be birthed something amazing, something that is that is really going to bring people into the kingdom of the Lord and the Lord shows me how this is going to be a generational um, um, a business project something that you are starting that 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 you are going to see people getting saved and so on and so forth for, for your family that they will also see it but the Lord says that through you and even in like the hard situations or even when when things are going really well, the Lord says, I'm going to use all of that to grow something. Be blessed. Hey, Barnabas, God bless you. Uh, so, Kerry, the Lord shows me a big tree, and then out of this tree is flowing water. And, and I think that tree was like an oak tree. And the Lord was saying to me, the tree in your life is your foundation, it's your strength, uh, it's the structures that you placed in your own life uh, that God has helped you to, to put there, uh, and also the growth that you experience. That's the tree. That's that's the, the, the context. Okay. And then that water that's flowing out of the tree. That was the life of God. The light of God. Creativity. Ideas. Um, relationships. Just the fruit of the Holy Spirit. The love and the power of God is coming out of you. And so the Lord said to me that you are a big mighty tree with water flowing out of it. God bless you. Um, Amen. Carrie, please give us comments next to this for Dasan. Dasan, the Lord shows me um, how how the Lord says take take wisdom because I see people are trying to challenge you on things. They're trying to 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 come at you and and they're giving their opinion. The Lord says take wisdom when you confront these people. Do not do not confront them with what they're throwing at you. Do not throw the same things at them, accusation upon accusation. I just hear the Lord saying, approach them with wisdom and with love. How how the Lord would approach somebody with a question. Uh, even when they were accusing Jesus, Jesus didn't or maybe sometimes he told them how, how bad they were. But most of the time he, he gave them like true, true wisdom. And I feel like the Lord the Lord has given you wisdom and now he wants you to apply it in that area of your life. Be blessed. Hey, Darshan, God loves you very much. <laughs> uh, so next word is for Benuria. Uh, the Lord is showing to me how he is making you pure and how you stand before him washed clean uh, in ropes, uh, white ropes, uh, linen, uh, ropes of righteousness and you stand before his throne and you are shining with brightness uh, with the light of God and the Lord has cut off your your past from you he's washed your sin away as far as the east is from the west and he's raising you up as a standard of purity and of holiness and the Lord is teaching you how to speak words of purity words of life words that builds people up 
and, and I just see how the Lord's glory is resting around your life. And so the Lord says, do not look at the past. Do not condemn yourself or judge yourself. The Lord has washed you clean. He doesn't see it. He sees the potential, the future, and the glory that is placed on you. God bless you. Benue, yeah. Amen. This next word is for Christina. Christina, the Lord shows me how... Um, the Lord shows me how like like this pot and and how you are putting a whole bunch of amazing flavors into this pot and the Lord shows me how you are sharing this and and I feel how how the Lord is really pouring into you something new something that is so fresh and how you are also like connecting these things with with past words that the Lord has given to you and I see how this this puzzle just comes together and how you just start to share this as an amazing as a testimony of staying persistent with 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 with, with what the Lord has given you even though you might not understand it now but even but in the future the Lord hands you something else and it everything makes sense and the Lord shows me how that is a beautiful testimony that you have that he wants you to share be blessed Hey, awesome. Christina, God bless you. Um, there is certainly a lot that you have to share. So, um, Anel, the Lord shows me how He comes and He overshadows you and how He puts in you the new season, the new move of God, what He wants to do and how you give birth to it and how you grow out of your life a ministry that really touches many, many people's lives and especially in the area of saving, salvation, the area of holiness, uh, restoration, healing. Um, the, the Lord is putting an anointing on you for something amazing to come forth out of your life. And so uh, in order to receive that seed and to be overshadowed by the Lord, the Lord is calling you to come into His chamber, that place of intimacy into the garden where you can walk with you and where you can experience his intimacy in your life god bless you ishika the lord shows me a the lord shows me how he's just putting a new covering over you of, of protection i see how you are you are writing or you are just creating something that is that is private but but someday once once it's ready you are going to share it and the lord shows me how he's just putting a protection over you especially like over your ears and over your heart that sometimes that it's hard when you re like receive criticism from even people that 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 does that doesn't even matter in your life and the lord says that the people that i have placed in your life like like your like your parents or or mentors or your pastor and and the lord we are there he, they are there to to not to criticize you but to to build you up and to help you grow the lord is just telling you that you are covered and you don't need to worry about about the outside opinions what the lord has placed inside of your circle is is more than enough to help you grow be blessed ishika uh, god uh, bless you okay so the next word is fabrice uh, the lord is showing to me how he's bringing healing and wholeness to you and that's in the area of your physical body in the area of relationships in your life and also in your finances and so the lord is covering you today and just like jesus would go into the multitudes and he would heal people they didn't do anything to earn it he just loves them and he healed them and in the same way the lord is coming to you and he's healing you and he's loving you and he says you are mine i accept you as you are and i'm embracing you with my life uh, with my love God bless you. Uh, amen. This next one is for Vanille. The Lord shows me this 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 stand, like this microphone stand, and the Lord shows me like you are you are speaking or, or you are singing or you are just projecting something. And the Lord shows me how how you must always come to that, even if it's just you are talking to like a few people. But the Lord shows me how you are how you are speaking, and the Lord shows me how you must always be humble. Be humble and 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 know that this word or this sound that you are releasing is 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 um not for the benefit, not too much for the for the benefit of others, but it's for the glory of God to to glorify Him and His words. That at the end they do benefit us when we learn His words and we take it to heart and we put it into practice. So the Lord is really just just teaching you in this time to take His word, and that is what He wants you to release. His words, even if it's just a word that He gives you right before you go and talk, it is just as powerful when you know it's from the Lord, whether 
at just as powerful as the word that he's given you a couple weeks ago. Be blessed. Hey, when he lay, I did see treasures of gold and of silver and of the wisdom and the goodness of God on the inside of you. And how the Lord is purifying you and he's helping you to bring forth that goodness to come out of you. The Lord loves you very, very much, Winnie God bless you. Family, it was a big pleasure for me and Kimmy to minister to each one of you. Uh, I want to remind you, if you in the future also would like to receive ministry in this way, just write your name in the comments and we would love to minister to you. We love and appreciate each one of you. God bless. Thank you for joining Unity with Heaven. Remember to subscribe, like, comment and join our newsletter. If you want to support us, please click on the PayPal link. May God bless you abundantly. Remember, you are valuable and we love and appreciate each one of you. If you enjoyed this content and you want to see more, please click here.